What's going on, YouTube friends and family? Again, it's your boy, AJ Red. I'm back again, of course, like I promised, with another episode of the AJ Red Show. And again, tonight, what we're going to discuss this time is Wendy Williams and her spoiled and apparently jealous ass brother. So, y'all want to chat about it? Let's go ahead and do that. It's the AJ Red Show, starring me. AJ Red. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Now let's get into it. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of the AJ Red Show. Um, I'm glad to have you guys back. Again, I'm still at home on COVID restriction, but I still have all uh, intention to make sure to pump out this information in these videos to you guys. Um, don't worry if you're all worried about me just pray for me I am doing just uh, fine um, it has not taken me down like it has done some other people that I've heard about in the past um, so I'm actually piloting through this shit so I'm, I'm I'm thugging it okay so but anyway don't forget to like subscribe and share and hit that notification button so that you'll get these uh, the notifications and the alerts when these videos actually um, are posted when I post these videos so real quick again I'm not gonna be very long I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this so basically we all know Wendy Williams you know talk show host uh, former talk show host now of the Wendy Williams show daytime talk show host um, she's now apparently going through some mental issues uh, and apparently we're on the street some drug issues people are saying that she's doing interviews coked out she doesn't look right. She's not being herself. She's not acting right. That's according to the public, right? Okay, so well, tonight what we're discussing basically is, again, the um, ideas of what her brother has to say about her, what he actually thinks about her, Mr. Tommy Williams. So I've been uh, following Tommy um, for a while now, and I've actually noticed, again, that I've mentioned in one of my videos before, it seems to me like sibling rivalry. Um, why do I say this? Because I don't see a, a point in Tommy each time getting on, taking to YouTube to express his views and how he feels about his sister's behavior and her actions and where she is in her life currently with her career. Um, so he, he posts videos pretty much every damn day uh, and they're always captioned Wendy Williams something, Wendy Williams healing, Wendy Williams needs help, Wendy Williams this, da 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 X, Y, and Z. And so two days ago, he posted a video. Um, and if you guys go to his page and watch it, because I'm not going to post it for you. Um, but maybe eventually I will start to do those type of things so that you guys can actually get a snippet or actually see what's going on and take a, um, a bird's eye view real quick into uh, some of the videos that I'm speaking of. But I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the video or videos that he's posted. But this one in particular, um, again, rubbed me wrong. It pissed me off in a way of, I feel like I not coming to the defense of Wendy Williams, but I feel like, again, like my, my last video as a brother to a sister, I just don't feel like um, it's OK for you to go and, and, and air dirty laundry or things that are going on behind the, the scenes in a family dynamic and putting them on the forefront um, of his, his page to make himself look better. And the reason, the reason I say this is because when you think about it, if you watch those videos, you listen to how he says that he never thought she was ready for her show. Um, damn near not even the Wendy Williams show. He didn't think she was ready for the podcast. He doesn't think she's prepared to be out here working, you know, being in front of the people, you know, speaking on hot topics, low topics, cold topics, any different topic. He thinks she's not ready to actually get out in front of the public and actually do this uh, all over again at the present moment. So don't get me wrong. Some parts of it sounds uh, concerning. You, you feel me? But there's so many undertones that sound so fucked up and it sounds like he's so fucking jealous of her. Case in point, I'll tell you, he says things like, again, you know, he's concerned about his sister, you know. You know, she has vultures and different people around her that are manipulating her mind and doing God knows what and he doesn't know who she's hanging with. And, you know, so his particular video, this particular video came from uh, a party that Wendy Williams was seen in a strip club or something like two days ago with, I think, her current manager um, for his birthday. And it was said that she was uh, BDI, you know, she, Wendy's always had big fucking eyes, so you kind of can't really tell if she's on something or not unless you're actually paying attention to her action, her speech, 
you know, and different shit like that. So, um, he was just going in. He was just like he was he was blacking out on her, basically what the, the name of the video was called. And he's like, Well, no, I'm not I'm not really blacking out on her. But you were really going in on your on your sister, bro. And the reason I say this is because for one, he was saying stupid shit like, you know, he was mad because um, and I, I kind of can feel it, you know, you, you, your nephew was kind of happy about, Lil Kev was little was happy about going out to L.A., um, yeah, L.A. to see Wendy, and, uh, I mean, to, yeah, to New York to see Wendy, and um, after being able to get a flight there, when he uh, finally got the flight out there, Lil Kev, and actually went to go see his mom, it's uh, reported by Tommy that when Lil Kev got to uh, Wendy Williams' humble abode, that he was not allowed access, so he, you know, he wasn't able to get in to see his own mother. Um, I personally have, I'm, I'm still looking and searching, I'm trying to see if there's anything that Lil' Kev maybe has said via Instagram or anywhere, Twitter, or anything like that, if he's commented and stated, which nine times out of ten he probably wouldn't have, because right now the mouth of the South and the family horn is Big Mouth Tommy, because, uh, like I said, He's jealous as fuck. Now, I do understand the fact that if Wendy did what she did to her son, by all means, it's fucked up. And don't get me wrong, she does. I see, I feel maybe she does need mental health. Maybe she does need help with drug abuse. Maybe she does need help um, with um, managing her health care and managing her funds and different things like that because they're saying she, she's still having um, dealings with Wells Fargo and how that process is going to unfold because it's not yet done. So, um... I don't know all the logistics to that, so I will not speak to that very much, but it's my understanding looking at some of the Instagram posts um, and some of the other stuff that this gentleman has been saying, her younger brother Tommy, he's been just making some insulting comments. Now, the one he made about her um, not inviting her son up or not allowing her son into her apartment, I don't know how true that is again, but at the end of the day, he called her uh, mean and he called her selfish he called her sour. Um, he called her all kind of shit, you know, toxic. He says, this is the way that Wendy has been for years. We've been knowing Wendy, those of us, not the fans, but those of us as the family members, we already know that Wendy is not the one um, family member that welcomes people into her life or welcomes people into situations to actually help her. He's, he's stating that he's pissed off because he's trying his best um, in effort to go uh, help Wendy or to give his best effort effort to to help her pull herself out of this this uh, this depressed state or this disdain matter that she's uh, currently in. But at the present moment, again, like I said before in my prior video, I don't see what more he has done other than put his fucking mouth on YouTube speaking um, negatively about his sister. One of the comments he makes that that also let me know that he was jealous. He says, "It's funny how she was out as a 57 year old woman." you know, in a club which um, short, uh, wearing shorts a third grader size up her ass. That's what he said. Uh, he said he was going to try to keep his channel clean. He said, basically, in so many words without filter, I'm going to just say what he said. He said he was sick of her shit. He don't understand why she's still putting up with the lifestyle over in New York, why she just won't come down to Florida with the rest of them and be happy down there on the jet skis and whatnot and hang out with the rest of the family and their 91-year-old father. As I said before, again, maybe Wendy does not fucking want that. Who knows? Maybe the family itself, maybe the family dynamic is already toxic. And there's some shit that we don't know because if she doesn't fuck with y'all like that, he's saying, and then he also said, you know, well, Wendy's not a celebrity to us. She's not a celebrity. She's not a family celebrity. She's just a, a family member. She's just a piece of the puzzle. Granted, I'm pretty sure that's the way it is in most families, um, um, to whom people are related to big stars and things like that. You all see them as just my sister, my aunt, you know, my cousin Lulu or, you know, uh, big uh, cousin Big Betty or whatever. You know, y'all only see them as that. And and we see them as stars, as this person that gets out the news or that gives us this beautiful vibe and song or this eloquent speech, you know, when they step before a, 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 an audience or even before us. But the bottom line is, we still see her as something that you don't seem to see your own fucking sister as a human being. And as I stated before, there would be no way in the world I would get on here and talk down on my sister, um, mentioning how he said she was stupid. He said she was stupid, she was mean, she was toxic. You know, 
I'm, I'm like, again, I have plenty of sisters. Um, I don't give a fuck what, what kind of fallout I may have with my sisters, whether it's good, bad. We keep that between us. And I, I never, I, I, to this day, I still don't even see, even in the near future, where there was be, would be one of my sisters or even siblings that would piss me off to the point of whether they're famous or not. But have me to the point to where I would jump on here and, and be like, you know, ah, sign, sign, and, and motherfucker this and that gay, and motherfucker that, and then try to hit the bitch with this, and the bitch didn't take my. No. We do, we deal with that stuff in the background. And like I said before, you still talking, Tommy's still talking all this shit about what Wendy is doing and what she's not doing. And the only person he's saying the three men in her life right now that are actually standing up for is him, Big Kev and Lil Kev. Now, Big Kev and Lil Kev, I can honestly tell you Big Kev for sure, because I also did a video with, when Big Kev did open up about how things went behind the scenes as it pertains to the Wendy Williams show and the ending of it. He did speak out about that on another podcast. And I, I, I mentioned that as well. So I can see Big Kev definitely in her corner. And that probably being one of the uh, the, the men that, that are defending her, even though he fucked over her so bad. You feel me? And I'm sure her son right now is in a point of his life. He's trying to manage college and keep his head down in his fucking books and try and keep his face out of the tabloids or his name out of the tabloids and, and probably uh, is, is dealing with some kind of anxiety or probably even some kind of fucking form of depression himself on school campus with people, you know, everybody knows who his mom is, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who his mother is. You know, friends, foes, um, shit, fans, you know, and he's probably having a hard time right now on the college life, not just on levels of academically and making proper connections and proper friendships and getting the education that she's actually fucking paying for and actually worked for, but he's also trying to maintain a level of, of uh, a mental status to where he can actually deal with his work and home life. And it's not easy for him because, fuck, he's a celebrity's kid. And, every, you know, it's like, fuck, he don't have to go to Cheers with and, and find somewhere where everybody knows his name. We already know it, you know. But uh, this fella here seems to take pleasure in... Uh, dragging his sister to the mud. And this is what I didn't understand as well. And this is what further mitigates to me that he's actually doing all this shit and using her name for clout and to get, um, you know, likes and, and followers and views and viewers and all this other shit. And it's working. But I say that because in, in this particular video, and I think in one prior to, he's already mentioned, but this one in particular, he says, well, I just got off the phone with Wendy, you know, not too long ago. And Da, 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 and we talked for a long time. It's never a conversation where we just talk a few minutes. We always talk, you know, long periods of time and da 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 da. da. So I'm feeling like this. If 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 I was just on the phone with my sister and there was a way I was feeling about her or something that she did publicly, and I didn't it, and and I felt like I wanted to address it or actually speak to her about some portion of it, or hell, if not excuse me, the entire thing. Why not address that when we are on the telly? Why not address those issues when we're on the phone? And one could say, well, shit, maybe he is trying to address, address those issues. Maybe knowing Wendy, you know, she's probably telling him, listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk about that. I'm not here for it. Mind your business. And if he's pushing too far, she probably hangs up the phone. That's probably what some of you are saying. I had that same fucking thought. But in the end, go back to what he said. We sit on the phone and we talk for a long time. It's just never on and off. So with that being said, he had enough time to have her attention on the phone to state his, his point, to state his business, to get his intention out there to his older sister to let her know that, hey, I'm just here for you. The shit you're doing out here is fucked up. You know, it's kind of crazy. What the fuck are you doing? You know, you acting weird. We don't do this shit with our family. Or, you know, if you're going to go in on her ass, that's the time to do it on her own phone line privately. Not here on YouTube where it looks like where you keep saying that you, you all are so close-knit, but it seems like you all are torn apart in some likes with your family dynamic. And you're saying, my family, my family, yes, you... You don't have a lot going on. You've, you, Tommy, you've mentioned several times you ain't got a lot going on. You're regular schmegler. You know, 
You get out there on the jet skis, probably on the weekend. You got to work nine to five like the rest of us to make your money. So, you know, right now on YouTube, it's probably the biggest you've ever had as far as being a star. And again, that's still riding off the back of your sister. Which wouldn't be all that bad if you were trying to actually ride off your sister's coattail in a positive way instead of fucking off her name, disrespecting her, talking about her like some kind of fucking second grade or third grade world, you know, chick, some fucking um, floozy you done found or you just knew in the street that, that, that crossed you the wrong way and now you got to come at her sideways. Yeah, you know, you may not be digging for her calling her all kinds of names, but I feel like what y'all thought y'all family was educated and had a little bit more class um, than what you were uh, putting out there. Now, with Wendy, we knew she was ignorant. We knew she talked about people's business. We knew she said some shit that got folks standing outside the studio ready to mop her ass up and fuck her real good uh, around about the way. We knew that. You know, and she kind of evolved to a point where she probably got security and she probably found a better way to actually put those uh, emotions of uh, people's business out there in, in the forefront before the world. But we've learned to somewhat i would say adapt to her and we 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 know her we we know how she is um in so many words he's basically saying his sister is a bitch you know and he kind of wanted to come out and say it but he didn't but in the end i still have to rag on his ass you sitting your muscle-headed ass around there looking like a um uh um a, a, a not well cooked um juju b and 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 Every day, you're posting something about your sister. I can honestly say, I can't sit up here and say I respect you for that. Because in the end, you know, if there was maybe a family cry or maybe she was an R. Kelly victim or she was somewhere hiding or she was being stolen or, you know, being, um, what's the word, uh, held hostage or captive or some shit by Robert you know, and you was trying to reach out to her and tell her, you know, come out of that foolishness, come over to your family. But the way I see it is this is a grown-ass woman, and I'm thinking maybe she's figuring, fuck it, I raised my child. I done gone through a divorce. Um, this man that got X amount of dollars out of the situation. I done, I had to bow down for my show. You know, I'm not doing well in my health. I have so many things going on mentally. I'm thinking about fucking around with some powder. You know, all this shit is going through her mind, and all you all you have for your sister is to get your smooth, slick, rick, butterbean, jolly rancher head looking ass up on YouTube every fucking day, and then talking about how you're trying to empower somebody, and how your life is so sweet, and how everything is going so well and so fine for you. I don't fucking think so. Because if, if the only thing that was out of sorts in your life was your sister not being there, let's hone in and focus on that shit in a positive light, my brother. How about positive vibes being sent to your sister instead of getting her here talking about you trying to burn her or uh, 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 black out on her? You don't have the, 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 the right to black out on any fucking body. She's older than you. If you're going to get on here, get on here and express concern. Not your fucking anger because you always end up getting on here with some kind of sordid ass, raw, dumb ass subject. Speaking to your subjects, you know, that are following you. I don't know why they're following you, you know, if, if, unless they're just following you to get tea on what's going on inside um, as far as it goes with Wendy, fuck, I find I get more information with TMZ, um, on Wendy than I do you, because the only thing you're telling me is how she's not doing what you see fit for her to do. The woman is grown. And yes, she, if she fucking with powder and all this other shit, no, she should. I don't condone it. No, no, I don't. I think she does need help if that's the case. So she can turn back from that shit and get back to where she needs to be in her career, where she wants to be in her career, because I'm pretty sure she's not done. But hell, if she keep up at this pace, maybe she will be done. I don't know. But it seems like if she if she's going to be done, it seems like you're trying to be the reigning queen that takes her seat. And I just, I'm, it's just, like I said, the shit is just sickening to me. So, again, like I said, I wasn't going to get on here and stay on here long. I just had to come on here and tell y'all, go over there and look at the videos that Tommy putting up. Tell me what y'all thinking about, what he got going on. Talking about his sister like he doing. Dogging her and shit, you know. Putting her out there, putting her business out there. I was taught we don't, we don't air family laundry. Now, I will say this. 
And, it's, and a lot of black families, they have a lot of fucked up shit that they don't, they don't, they don't call out. And when they say we don't air our family in laundry, a lot of times that's, that's to keep a lot of hidden fucked up shit that went on in the family history, you know, keep it hidden in so many words. Those generational curses, and that's how they stick around. But in this particular case, when it's something like this, you know, let her be the one to speak out about her addiction like she did before when she broke free from it. Let her speak out about how, you know, she's struggling with something or how she had to come back from it when she gets to that point. I don't think it's your responsibility. I don't even think it's your right to even come out about what you feel like she's doing right and wrong. You're not her mother or her father. And it's, I find it very funny that you now feel okay with speaking out about all this stuff when now that your mom is passed away, I don't think she would have condoned you um, getting on your on, on, on YouTube and talking about your sister the way that you do. And hell, I would say I'm surprised your father allows it at 91 years old, but who knows what bullshit you over there feeding him over there in, um, in, in South Beach, Florida. Who knows what you over there giving him, you know, as far as... Uh, verbal bullshit about Wendy and, and other people and the aspects and how it goes down. He's a very educated man, but at the same time, you know, I'm pretty sure Tommy's a little bit more up to speed with um, worldly matters and, and, and bringing him to his father and letting him know, oh, this is this and this is how it works now. You know, that kind of thing, like updating him on shit and probably not updating in the proper manner, but um, it, it would look better if you all stood together as a united front, as a family, and stood out and stood up and said, you know, we here for Wendy. We don't, we, we can't really speak for what's going on over there, but we're here for her. That's, that's our, she's, she belongs to us and we're and we here for her. And instead of talking bad about her with your silly ass, you should be defending your sister. And that's for all you fellas out there. Hell, that's for all you siblings out there. They may not be the best, but at the end of the day, you kick their ass behind closed doors. That's what you do. You kick your own sibling ass, but you, you chastise their ass behind closed doors. And on the front, you stand united. You won't let no motherfucker see y'all falling apart. And that's what Tommy is fucking up at. But it's all for personal gain. So what, what more could you expect? And from a jealous sibling. Yes, I said it. He's jealous. Very fucking jealous. He said it He said it many times in, in, in other wording. He never came straight out and said it. But he, he, the way he's, he's presented himself with other topics and the way he speaks about his sister, he's very fucking jealous. It's not envy, it's jealous. And I'm sure he has been jealous of her for quite a long time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Like I said, I have some some other videos to, to get to y'all. I'm trying to play catch up. I got these Atlanta Housewives to pump out. Marriage and Medicine is back. I have those two videos to get out for, to y'all before. Um, I'm editing those videos, y'all, and trying to get them out to y'all before the next go round. Um, so, but I'm still here. I'm not going no fucking way. I told y'all COVID and all, I'm motherfucking powering through. You feel me? Yes. Looking good and still doing motherfucking good. Always will be. All, and always have. It's not going to change. There's no way, nowhere left to go but up from here. You feel me? Yeah, you do. So anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share these videos. And please hit that notification bell so that you'll get these motherfucking videos when they come out. And we can stay in touch and see how y'all doing out there and how your mama doing. And I probably let y'all know how I'm doing, but I'm doing swell. I'm doing great. I, I dodged COVID. I worked in it, you know, all that time testing and treating and all this stuff. And I actually dodged it. Um, I like, what can I say? Spirits have been good to me. Mighty good to me. And even though now it's catching up with me, I still have to say I am grateful and I am, um, I'm just grateful. All right, y'all. So anyway, again, like, subscribe, and share. Share with somebody you know. Share with somebody you don't know. Share with somebody you like. Share with somebody you don't like. Because if you don't like me, I'm sure somebody else will. I know it. I'm a thousand percent sure on that one. All right? So anyway, always make sure to love yourself, love somebody else, but only if they love and know you back the right way. That's the stipulation. That's the caveat to that shit. All right? All right, y'all. Y'all take care. Talk to y'all later.